So the other day I posted a poll on my Twitter asking if you guys wanted to see a Thanksgiving um, glam makeup tutorial, which is this, and I will have a video up on this. This video, this makeup tutorial should be up before this one, so if you're watching this, you probably already saw this and are thinking, why the hell are you talking about this? Um, but if you're new, don't forget to check out this video and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I need to go pick that up. Ooh, so today I'm going to be doing my palette collection and to make this video go by a little faster for me, um, I'm going to split up my palettes in two sections. So like by by brands is how I'm going to do it. And um, just because this is the closest palette next to me, I'm going to start off with um, my Morphe eyeshadows. I'm going to do like face palettes and eye palettes just all in one but like I said I am gonna go buy brand. So my first Morphe palette I have here to show you is my Morphe N9 palette which is a blush palette and I think this is their second one I believe that they had a first one and then this one and this one's more of a neutral blush palette compared to the other one I believe that one has a couple brighter shades but I do tend to use this a lot and before I started getting into really colorful looks I would use the pinks out of here to do like pink looks and I really really like them and it's also good if you do um freelance makeup because there's obviously nine different shades in there that you have four shimmers and then um five mattes and you even have this really dark one which is so pretty I love this but I mean I cannot pull this off on my skin tone but I can use it as an eyeshadow, so it also doubles as an eyeshadow palette. My next one, um, you don't even have to like makeup to probably have seen this palette a million fucking times. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Yes, mine is beyond dirty. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on palettes that I use frequently in tutorials just because I've already use them in tutorials so I've kind of talked about them but if you guys do want to know more about a palette feel free to comment down below or you can DM me on Twitter because I always have my Twitter and my Instagram in the down bar. So yeah this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is a super good palette for traveling because you know you have shimmers, mattes, um, you have pops of color, then your neutrals and it's just a really good all around palette. I know my Ulta just started carrying it so check your local Ulta to see if they carry it. The next one I have is the 35B. Uh, if you um, keep up with me on Twitter and see my looks, I use this palette a whole lot. I really, really like this palette because you get a lot of different shades and a lot of different finishes. Like there's mattes and this is like one of my favorite shades, but it stains the eyelid, but like it's, it's worth it. So you have mattes. This is kind of like a duochrome purple, like kind of... Um, so yeah, there's just some swatches for you. These are super pigmented. Um, I'm going to be honest, they're not, the other, their older Morphe palettes are not as pigmented as the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I know they've come out with a couple new, a couple more new palettes. And I hope, I haven't tried them yet, but I hope the pigmentation is up to the Jaclyn Hill one because that pigmentation is amazing. These ones are good, but it's definitely nowhere in compared. Um, and then I have the Morphe 35O, which is a nice warm orange tone palette. Um, again, I I use this palette in the tutorial for this look, so go check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It's, 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 it's. Also with Morphe palettes, I have one more. I forgot. I have the Morphe 06F. This is the very first Morphe product that I have ever bought. Um, my mom's an esthetician, so we go to the beauty show in Chicago every year, and they had Morphe there as a stand, and I didn't really, I wasn't really into makeup. I didn't know who Morphe was yet. I was just getting into makeup, so I bought this because it's um, face powders. I can, I can, I like this shade. Um, I used to, when I first got this, I would bronze with this shade. As you can tell, this is not my shade at all, but it, um, comes in handy for eyeshadows, and it also comes in handy when I'm doing other people's makeup, um, because there are six different shades in there, but I do like this one the best, because it's, like, translucent, but, like, it isn't, yeah, anyways, stop talking. The next brand I have is Anastasia Beverly Hills, ABH, whatever you want to say. Um, I do have one other palette by her that I just don't have with me right now. It's at my mom's house and that is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills self-made palette. Beautiful palette, beautiful pigmentation, beautiful packaging. I adore that palette. When I first got it, I would use it 
all the freaking time but it's just at my mom's house and i'm at my dad's house so yeah this was my very first palette that i got from anastasia beverly hills this is the maya mia palette you cannot get this palette at all anymore this palette is so 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 old i think i got this my freshman or eighth grade year and um i definitely love this palette like um i've hit pan on three shades but this one is also about to hit pan and as well as this one um i really like this palette because it carries um some of her most popular shades and this palette um came out when she she was always well known but her brand wasn't as big as as it is now so um this had her most popular single shadows in there because that's when people were using her single shadows like caramel sienna and warm taupe and I love this palette like this is like my OG palette like I tend to not reach for it anymore because it, you can't really get your hands on it anymore um but it's just always like a statement piece in my collection oh, no. next I have my um subculture palette which you I've used in a tutorial I used one shade um if you're familiar with the beauty community you would know that there's a lot of shit it goes on with this palette a lot of people did not like this palette they got a lot of kickback and fallout and people were supposedly hitting pan as soon as they swirled their eyeshadow in i don't know i like my palette personally i don't feel yes there is a little bit of fallout but if you take your time and blend it it's worth it in the end for me because these shades in here are absolutely stunningly beautiful and they just all pair really well and like you even have like this nice um, electric green shade and this shade called cube is um, like a duochrome it's like a white pink and then this shade to adorn gorgeous absolutely like shimmers are so 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 soft and blendable and like I said you really just need to take your time with this palette and it's totally worth it next one I have is the um, AB8 Ugh, I don't need it <clears throat> we're going by brands dream up <clears throat> this is the sun dip palette um, I've definitely used and abused this. I actually really like this shade as well. It's not as intimidating as it looks like in pan. It's kind of just a silver, so it's nice for like that frosty kind of look. I'd say the only shade I really haven't played with is this one, which actually is really pretty. Oh, <gasps> dang it. Why'd I do that? Um, let me just blend this out. Look, see, that was an accident, but, like, it's so pretty, you can't even tell. Yeah, um, this is definitely one of the best glow kits. I It's one of their more wearable glow kits. I know the first ones that they came out with, they don't even carry anymore. I'm pretty sure they do still carry this one and then the Moon Child and the Aurora glow, glow kit, but those are colorful ones, and if you like... Yeah, and um, this also like it. This palette is forty dollars, but it's four shades, so really you're paying ten dollars a highlight, and it's a high end highlight when like a Becca highlight is thirty eight dollars. So it's a good bang for your buck. Have is the ABH contour kit, which I only. This was the only like powders that I had, contours, bronzers. Like I use this for everything. Like this was like my first like highlight highlight this is not a highlight at all like if you like a super super subtle highlight like the hourglass ambient lighting powders maybe like i even know there would be people that would like set their under eyes and face with this um but this is definitely a really good palette and i like it too because you can take the pans out so if you do like completely hit pan or you don't know the names they are on the back or say you like this shade so much you want all three of them as this shade you could just buy them and take these out and fill it with that so I really like that touch I think um it's very smart as a thing to do as a brand is make them refillable especially when you hit pan on one shade so you don't have to go out and buy an entire new I'm gonna palette. do elf I have four things from elf and actually three of these four things I want in a giveaway so that's kind of funny but yeah I have two of these skinnier ones and then two of these fatter ones um I'm gonna start with this one this is the elf blush palette in light they have a dark one and they have a cream one the dark one is very very pretty I do kind of want to get my hands on it but I just haven't yet the mirror in here is really nice as well for like traveling and again I'm gonna I don't know if you guys and again you can pop these shades out like all different like I could take the shades out of this palette and put them in here and custom make your own I really really like these if you don't like ordering online and you don't want to order the morphe one but you like blush palettes I suggest this one 
they are super soft and pigmented and then a shade and like I said there are two other ones with this palette um this one's a shimmer and this one's like a satin kind of shade and then these two are matte and you get four but you can also like mix and match them so really you have like 16 so yeah and then my next elf one I absolutely hate I did win this in a giveaway though so I can't return it but this is their illuminating palette um nothing about this is illuminating like when I expected something because like I know elf can be really hit and miss but like look at this this these are face powders these are not highlighters these are not illuminators like there's one shade that has a little bit of a sheen in it and like again like unless you really don't like a highlighter like I just don't I don't use this at all but I keep it just for the fact that like I want it in a giveaway like this person this person oh, I can't say this word specifically picked me so I just kind of keep it for that sentimental reason um but otherwise, other than that, if I were to purchase that with my own money, I would definitely return it. Maybe even email Elf like, hey, like, why are you claiming this is an illuminating palette? This is definitely a face palette. And then the next one I bought with my own money. This is the Summer Breeze, the Mad For Matte 2 palette. You guys have seen this on my channel, I believe. I know I filmed a video with it before, but I don't think I uploaded it. But I adore this palette. This palette is pigmented. The shades are nice. And they're blendable and it's like a really well rounded palette you could do like a daytime look you could do a dark a nighttime look pops of color like I really highly enjoy this palette and um, if you like these shades I definitely definitely recommend this one and then the last elf palette I have is the elf runway ready lip palette again I won this in the giveaway um, with what that I won the other elf products but this I do not like. I did like swatch them and I put them on my lips to see how they were. They're not really like lipstick to me though. They're kind of like a sheer gloss you would put over lipstick. Like I definitely wouldn't wear these by themselves. And I don't like I just don't find myself reaching for this palette. I don't find myself reaching for a lot of lip palettes. I have another one and as well as that one, I do not reach for it. Move on to Kat Von D. Um, you guys have seen this so many times. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Just like the AVH one, it's a contour and highlight palette. Um, this is their older packaging because they do have a new packaging now with refillable pans like the um, the ABH one. And I believe that packaging is a um, hard plastic material. Well, this is kind of just like cardboard. I do like this though. I use this every day. Um, if I don't use the contour powders every day, I use the face powders every single day. They're super buildable, super blendable super super nice and then I have two Kat Von D shade and light mini eye palettes these are discontinued I actually found these at Marshall's but I know that just recently she discontinued these because they were in Sephora for a while but I grabbed the rust one and the plum one and the plum one I adore I love these shades these shades are so pretty I definitely see myself using them if um so yeah and then the next one I have is the rust one this is definitely more of a wearable one I see, I see people um, leaning towards this one more than I do the purple one, but th again, these are so pigmented, and I um, really hope that she comes out with more mini ones like these, because I personally really, really like it. This brand I'm going to be moving on to is Too Faced. Which I, I know, I just want to address something about Too Faced. Um, I know a lot of people. Like, Too Faced gets a lot of hate for their palettes, and I definitely agree with some people to an extent. I love Too Faced as a brand, but their newer eyeshadow palettes are definitely really, really missed for me. Like, this one right here, I don't like, but, like, all of these ones were my holy grails every time I got them. I love these palettes, but I definitely feel like they're lacking a little bit in creativity and just pigmentation and blendability of their more recent palettes so i'm gonna start with this one because like i said i don't really care for this one this is the Too faced white chocolate chip i wanted this when i saw it online because it i think it's so it's so cute um these shades are nice i guess like they're some are more like stiffer than others they're kind of just like they're a little chalky and like it looks like i hit pan on this but I didn't it just had that much fallout these browns 
literally look the same like look at that like those those aren't browns it's really hard to create an entire look with this palette and i wanted to love this palette so much because it's so cute and i know they're coming out with um a bigger version of this palette now which i do believe has a duplicate of some of the shades in here i don't think i'm going to be getting that one just for the fact that i have this one and i don't really like it but that's just my opinion and then the next one i have is the Too faced peanut butter and jelly palette i love this palette it I'm sick, so I can't smell it, but it smells good. The shades in here are super, super pretty. Um, you could definitely use this every day because it's just some warm browns, and then you have two cups of purple, and really this one isn't anything like too bright. This shade right here, I love peanut butter cup. Yeah, I really like these shades. The funny thing is, though, like I hate peanut butter cups, like Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cups. I hate, I hate fake peanut butter and chocolate like I like chocolate and I like peanut butter but I don't like peanut butter flavored chocolate um I believe you can still get your hands on this I know people like this one way more than the peanut butter and honey palette but I definitely like this and it's so cute I mean look at the little toast and little peanuts it's cute yeah, a plus for me and then <clears throat> next one I have is the Too Faced Power of Makeup um palette this was a collaboration with nikki tutorials again i really really love this palette i use this black frequently all the time and i use painkiller i really these shades i use the most but it also has some nice pops of color and i like this too because you could travel with this because it has um, a highlighter bronzer and then two blushes and really you can use any of these as eyeshadows like i actually use this shade to contour a lot i used to when i first got this palette um but yeah, this is limited edition, so you can't get it anymore, but it also came with a glitter and a mascara and an eyeshadow primer. The glitter is beautiful and the mascara is purple, so that's really fun. And the next, last two palettes I have, this one, oh my god, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is their original OG Chocolate Bar Palette. They have this one, a semi seat one, a Bon Bon one, and then yeah, so th this is the OG. When I saw this palette come out, I wanted it simply for the fact that this shade, that it was absolutely beautiful. I got this my freshman year for Valentine's Day from my mom, and I used it all the time. Like, this shade is really, really close to hitting pan. I still frequently use this shade as well because I think it is a beautiful brown, 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 brown. The browns in here are really nice. The shimmer shades in here are really nice. I don't feel like you can really go wrong with this. Um, I like it. My packaging is broken, though, so... That sucks. And then the last one is my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I love this palette. Seriously, I think this is probably, like, this used to be my favorite. This tops this by, I can't even tell you how much. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. First of all, it just smells so good. Like, it just smells like peaches. I can't smell it, but I know what it smells like. And you have, um... Yeah, you have five mattes, and then you have a satin, and the rest, oh, no, this, this is a matte, too. I'm going to count them. Okay, so there's a, a nice mix of satins, mattes, and shimmers, and I think this palette is so, so, so worth it, worth the money. Honestly, if you were going to get one palette out of all the Too Faced ones, I would definitely suggest this one. It smells good. The shades are pretty, and um, I actually have, like, a go, go-to look with this. A lot of palettes I don't have go-to looks with, but, like, I have my go-to look with this palette, and I think I'm going to do a tutorial on that. Well, let me next, I'm going to move on to Urban Decay. So, I have one more Urban Decay palette. It's just not with me. It is at my mom's house, once again. It is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Um, these ones I do have with me, though. This is the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics. This is super, super cool tone. If you like cool tone shades, I highly recommend this because it's you can travel with this. You can do a lot with this. You can use this for liner. I used to use this for my brows. It's a really well-rounded palette. I remember I bought this my freshman year during finals. Like I was supposed to be studying for finals, and I was like, Mom, I want to go to Sephora. And I, um, at the time, like the Urban Decay Naked Basics, like the original, was very, very popular. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the two. I'm going to be different. And here you go i got the two because i wanted to be different and then the next one i have is the urban decay vice palette which i got for christmas last year the year before that i love the mirror inside it's so big but like <laughs> yeah the shades in here are nice i do like this palette but i don't tend to reach for it a lot because there's only three matte shades which is this deep dark 
no, that's not even matte. It's like satin. Um, are these three shades right here, and you really cannot create a whole entire look with this palette. It's the only thing I don't like with this. This is more of a palette that you use something else with, like a matte palette, and then you go in here for shimmers. Like I said, like it is a very pretty palette, but I just don't like that there's not a lot of mattes in it. I'm going to move on to BH Cosmetics. I have the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. Um, mine is well abused. Very, very, very abused. She does have a deluxe version now, and I do want that one because that's big, and it has like six highlighters in it and then a bunch of eyeshadows. Um, so this whole row except for this shade is matte and then these are all shimmers and then these are the highlights I love this highlighting shade mine actually broke and fell out As well as this one this one also broke and fell out I'm sorry that I keep looking like here and not there I just like I can see it closer here So yeah, but I do really like this palette Um, I believe they still sell this one as as well as the deluxe version So if you can get your hands on it, it's definitely a really pretty palette. Oh my god. Look at my hand Oh, I need a makeup wipe. Uh, time out. So if I was going to list my least favorite palette out of this entire video, it would it it, it would be this. This is the BH Cosmetics um Ultimate Lips 28 Color Lipstick Palette. I've tried to use this. I've swatched it. I've used them on my lips, but I would just rather use a normal lipstick. And um nothing wrong with this palette if you do like things like this because they are pretty pigmented too they're not like the elf one I, I definitely prefer this one over the elf one because there's a lot more ranges um i just don't find myself reaching for this because i feel like if i have a lipstick in front of me i'm gonna use that rather than going into this palette getting a brush applying it and applying it you know what i mean so i mean it is a good palette it's just not something i personally reach for but you could reach for it I have three palettes left, and I only have three of each, so. This one, I'm not even say ColourPop, yes, please palette, love it, adore it, buy it, marry it, just, yes, please, just, you won't regret it. This one is the NYX Happy Birthday Palette. Um, You got this for, um, if you're an Ulta Rewards member, for your birthday. The, shade, the shades in here are super nice, and they're super pigmented as well, and you get a nice variety of shades. I mean, you have four mattes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, six shimmers. You have a green, a plum, a red, and then two um, like ivory colors, and then a nice bronzy gold. I like this a lot. And then I have the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. This was one of the first palettes that I got. I'd say it's like my first buy, my top like five palettes. You get a highlighter, a bronzer, a blush, and then six eyeshadows, which you can double up as anything like you could use this as liner you can mix these for your brows eyeshadow 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 you know what i mean i really like this palette um as you can see i use the highlight a lot the highlight is super super pretty and, oh i have one more palette my last palette is my benefit cheekathon palette i use this all the time in my videos so you've definitely seen this before finally i don't have to cover the mirror i can just take it out i do like this you get two bronzers and three blushes and if you are darker skin you can actually use this as a highlight it's like a pink tone highlight this is definitely a really good money this is definitely a good place to put towards your money i think this palette is 60 dollars, but one of these by themselves is 28 i believe somewhere around that range and so you're getting five shades for 60 bucks that's not a bad deal at all i really like it so this was my palette collection um i'm not trying to brag in any way i just i put on my twitter if you guys did want to see this look and i did get a couple of the i did get a couple of votes even though the thanksgiving look won. so people do want to see it i personally like watching these kind of videos i like knowing what other people have you know if you want to suggest a a palette to use in a tutorial now you know what palettes i have what palettes i like what palettes i don't um if you guys want to see a full makeup collection like going through my desk going through my brushes my glitters you know just a full makeup collection um please let me know and yeah thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that you just sat here for so long and listened to me talk but i appreciate it thank you very much